Here's the third version of my uh, hand or homemade high voltage, high frequency transformer. <coughs> the, uh, I'm using the same cores I had in my previous video. I ripped off the those windings. They arced over, and this time I have Teflon tape separating each layer of windings and I hand wound it. There's eight layers, 40 windings per each layer. Not too many windings, but eh. So I hand wound it and it took a long time and it was quite tedious. I really hope it doesn't arc over. Um, there's a few layers of Teflon tape uh, separating each layer of wire. So I have it connected up to the ZVS and I'll start with 12 volts and then I'll progress up the line. So, yeah, so I guess I'll test it. This is the negative lead, and that's the positive. So, I think we'll just start out on 12 volts. And no pops yet, or arcs or over. Yeah. Well, it's not very impressive on 12 volts, I guess, so... Uh, let's go ahead and progress up to 24 volts, and no arc overs yet, so looks like we're doing good. I do have to say, the first version before it arced over, it gave me, like, nearly a three-quarter inch arc on, uh, tw on the, uh, I think, uh, 18 volts. And it melted the wires down. And then it died. But, eh. The output on this isn't great. That's, like, um, a little over half a centimeter. So, let's go ahead and progress on up with this. I'm not sure where my other 12 volt battery is, so we're just going to do that, but actually this one isn't doing too bad. So there's a little over 300 windings on there, so I'm not surprised that the output isn't too great. Yeah, you can see the negative side is heating up so fast. It's gluing red hot, actually white hot on the very end. Ooh, mm, smell of enamel. And the transformer is doing fine over there. Okay, let's unplug it. And I'm going to check the temperature of the transformer. Just in case there's any self capacitance it's shorted. I was at myself on a flybacks capacitor the other day. Uh, actually, I was earlier today. I thought I discharged it and it had been sitting the whole day. So, this thing is slightly warm to the touch. And, you know what? I think it's actually, it's the primary that warmed up. The secondary is not that warm, it's just the primary that's warm. So, I will later uh, test it out with some more voltage on the input, and we'll have to see what that does. But for now, that's all I did, and I'm fairly impressed with the output of this thing, saying there's only about 320 windings on it. We may actually want about 350, there's a little over 40 per each layer. So, Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I'll try to answer them if there are questions and all that good stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and bye.